Six. In court, three of the four people arrested during last week's marijuana raids faced a judge for the first time today. NBC5's Christine Pitawanich was in the courtroom. She joins us now live from the Jackson County Courthouse with more. Christine. Laura, you know, it wasn't too long ago, actually around 5 o'clock, that roughly 30 protesters took up the spot over at Alba Park, then walked all the way down West 8th Street here to the Jackson County Courthouse. And it was here that they gathered in support of those who were arrested. Plants, not pills! Plants, not pills! About 30 people took to the streets. Marijuana is medicine! Chanting and holding signs, demonstrating from Alba Park to the Jackson County Courthouse. Marijuana is medicine! It was this marijuana raid at eight locations throughout Jackson and Josephine County last week that's causing outrage and put four people behind bars. We're told one of them, Michael Shano, was released. It's been very emotional and very traumatizing to all of us. Tuesday afternoon, Lori and Leland Duckworth, who run So Normal, a cannabis center in Medford, were arraigned. And I believe, you know, in her heart that she did nothing wrong. They're charged with conspiracy to commit unlawful delivery of a controlled substance within 1,000 feet of a school. This is an alleged conspiracy, and conspiracy um, is not as easy to prove legally as people say it is. Charges stem from allegations that marijuana was being sold illegally from storefronts. The sales allegedly between people who did not have a grower-patient relationship. We never sold anything. We're nonprofit. We don't make money. In addition to the Duckworths, David James Bond was also arraigned. Lori Duckworth and David Bond put in pleas of not guilty. Leland Duckworth did not plead either way. Meanwhile, bail still stands at $550,000 for the Duckworths. There's people that are convicted of attempted murder that have a $250,000 bail, and yet these people have double the bail of somebody that convicted murder, which is, to me, unheard of. Now, police say the raid was a result of an 18-month-long investigation by Medford Area Drug and Gang Enforcement. It's expected Leland and Lori Duckworth, as well as David Bond, will be back in court on June 17th for a pre-trial conference. Live here at the Jackson County Court, Christine Pinawanich, NBC5 News.